Alright guys, welcome to your 44th biology video, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about DNA replication, but before we get into that, I need to discuss cell division. Now, cell division is basically just what it sounds like. It's when you have one cell, and it divides into two, and you know, the process is a little more complicated than that, but that's basically what cell division is. And the important thing to take away is, since we're studying biology, all living things, it's important to note that all living things, all organisms can replicate or reproduce their cells. Now why would a living thing want to reproduce their cells? Well, for several reasons actually. One is growth. Remember you started out as a single cell in your mom's little belly and then now of course you are trillions and trillions of cells. So in order to get to one cell to trillions and trillions, that cell needed to divide, reproduce, and then as an organism, as a human being, you grew. Now, it's not only animals and human beings, but it's also plants. You know, a small little flower becomes a bigger flower. Maybe, uh, you know, a small little tree, small sapling becomes a big tree. So all organisms grow. So growth, that's the one reason that cells reproduce. Um, another reason is repair. Whenever you have a bone and you break it, we'll say that this is a broken bone right there, or maybe you just have a cut on your knee or wherever on your body, new cells are needed to repair your body. So like broken bones and cuts, that's another reason why your cells need to divide. And the last reason is of course reproduction. We gotta keep the species going. That's why we need more cells. Now, when a cell reproduces, what it does is it actually makes copies of everything inside it so here's all your crap inside your cell and once it has copies well first of all why does it need copies well because it's gonna divide and each of these cells is gonna need a full functioning cell so right now we have the pieces in the original cell for one cell and whenever it reproduces again like I said each of these cells right here they need all the pieces to function so what it basically does is it makes copies of all its parts and then it divides and makes two new cells. Now of course the process is a little bit more you know technical than that. It would be easy if you know you just say okay one cell becomes two bada bing cell division. But actually it's a pretty complex process and the first part of this process I want to talk about is DNA replication. So before a cell can split in two it first needs to copy its DNA so that each daughter cell can have a copy of it. So what happens in this process is the DNA actually unzips, and of course, here's our DNA. I'll say it unzips, double helix, unzips, that's kind of a you know, dramatic unzip, but it basically unzips so that it has a nucleotide on each side. So remember that I often compare DNA to a ladder that's kind of twisted? Well, whenever it unzips, it pretty much splits those rungs in half. So here's a rung right here, it would be paired up with this one over here. So this is basically how DNA starts. And another thing that I want to remind you of, the entire strand of DNA right here, it doesn't unzip all at once. It actually unzips a little at a time. So at no point in DNA replication is the entire strand of DNA unzipped at once. So once it's unzipped, a, uh, let me change my color. What do I want to write with here? Uh, let me go ahead. Right. DNA polymerase is one of the main enzymes in DNA replication. What this enzyme does right here is it basically reads the DNA code on each strand, the left strand and the right strand, strand we'll just call it for now, and it builds a new partner strand complementary to the original strand. Now, another thing I want to mention before you know I go any further is that I know I didn't talk to you guys about the different type of nucleotides but remember that I said the nucleotides were basically the rungs of the ladder now I won't be going over the exact molecular formula of each nucleotide but just remember this for now because I just want to touch on the very basics for now nucleotides which remember are the pieces of the rungs in the ladder they come in four different just call them types for now and those are A T C and G. A, T, C, and G. So these are the four different types of nucleotides you can have. Now I mention this because there are rules 
to making DNA, and that's whenever you have a strand of DNA, A always gets paired with T, and C always gets paired with G. So if your original strand, whenever it was split in half, again, this would be like, uh, that's very funny. This would be like, I don't know, A, C, G, A, I don't know, something like that. Let me go ahead and give you an example. So if one of the strands was like A, uh, C, T, uh, T, A, G, let's go ahead and remember our rules right here. Here are the rules right here, and the rules are A always gets paired with T, and C always gets paired with G. So this would be, can you guess it, A, A, T, C. So just remember, this would be the original in this purple color, and this would be the new yellow one. So that's what the enzyme DNA polymerase would build, this new yellow strand right here based on this original purple strand. So in the next video, what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about the exact process of DNA replication. But for now, hopefully you guys understand a brief overview of what it is. So in the next couple of videos, I'll be clearing things up. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys then.